Hey everybody, so I just wanted to jump on here and leave my review for the new film, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, which is based on the very popular book of the same name by Judy Bloom. This book was originally published in 1970, I believe, and it's been over now 53 years, and we have just now received a film adaptation. And the reason for that is because Judy Bloom uh, refused to sell the rights to it for many years. A lot of people came to her wanting to make it into a movie, a TV show. I believe there were many different kind of offers. I'm not entirely sure what all the offers were, but Judy Bloom uh, refused because in her defense, in her opinion, she never felt like every book needed to be a movie, which I stand by. I don't necessarily think every, you know, piece of work needs to also be adapted into film or television. So I was actually very happy that she kind of stood by that decision for many years until she received a letter from the film's writer and director, Kelly Freeman Craig, who wrote her a very personal letter saying, you know, this story meant a lot to me. I think it would be great as a movie for these reasons, and also left the fact that she was the writer and director behind the previous film, The Edge of Seventeen, which kind of deals with a lot of similar traits of a young girl in school and just trying to find herself, also very coming of age. And I love that Judy Bloom was so honored and touched by that, that 53 years later, finally granted the film rights to this director, and now we have the movie. Now, I've never read the book, but I am very aware of who Judy Bloom is and all of her works because she is such a popular author, especially for young adults. Now, when this book initially came out, I know that it had gotten a lot of attention. It was very popular by uh, readers and young girls and maybe young boys as well by a lot of people. But on that same uh, level, it was also, you know, completely criticized by a lot of people, parents, you know, authorities, because they felt the theme of the book was a little too personal and too much to handle that they try to have it banned from schools. And that's a whole nother, you know, subject matter of talking about banned books, which I don't agree with at all in any sense <laughs> of that. However, this book deals with a young 12 year old coming into her own. You know, it is a real sweet coming of age story about a girl learning about growing up, learning about menstruation, learning about her body and learning about religion and choosing that path for herself. And that theme was not exactly welcomed by a lot of people during that time. And even today, the book is still getting a lot of criticism because people feel as if this is still too heavy for young girls to read through, which I completely disagree with. I think a book like this is very necessary and a great you know, tool and a great device for young girls to actually look at and read so that way they have an understanding and maybe they can uh, relate to. And that's the exact reason Judy Bloom wrote it in the first place. So that all being said, that's the book part of the whole thing. Um, I'm here to talk now about the film, which I watched last night and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was very, very sweet. I really think that in vain of uh, the director's previous film, the one I had mentioned, The Age of 17, it has a very similar theme, like I said, but I really love watching stories about kids coming into their own, those coming of age stories. It reminds me a little bit of that film, The Age of 17, Lady Bird, sometimes even Juno, even though this is not dealing with a pregnant girl, but this is still about a girl who's young, um, still figuring out life, even though she might think she's sure of it, but she's still just a kid. And that's what's wonderful about these stories is that it's just people trying to figure out their lives. And I really appreciated just seeing, you know, the relationship between she and her mother and her father and her grandmother and just this whole cast is well-rounded. You know, you got Rachel McAdams, Benny Safdie, Kathy Bates, a whole wonderful cast of characters here. And Abby, the young actress who plays Margaret, is just phenomenal. Lots of funny moments in the movie. Um, the very popular uh, seance, like chant that I guess, no, I shouldn't say seance, but the chant that I guess most girls when they were younger would do at sleepovers with the, you know, I must, I must. Like that is really hilarious. There's just so many moments throughout the film that I found myself pleasantly just so delighted by. Things that I thought were very comical. And even important themes, very poignant and pivotal moments, because again, this is about somebody trying to figure themselves out. And because religion does play a part, you know, that is something so interesting to see a 12 year old coming up with that decision to make for herself. Not a lot of children usually get that kind of decision to make on their own. But I really like that Judy Bloom didn't do it in like a, an offensive or harsh way. She's giving, you know, liberty to a child. She's giving freedom to a young girl to make that decision for herself which I think a lot of parents, if they're not already doing it, should be doing for their kids. Let them have that agency. Because even that age 12, you may not think they know what's best for them. It's always best to let them figure out what they want. And I think the movie just does a really nice job. I think it's beautifully shot. The period piece of it all, because it's taken place in the 70s, I thought was really great. The design of it, the look of it, the costumes, was just a lot of fun. 
So if you have a chance to check it out, I definitely recommend that you do. If you don't have time to see it in the theater, definitely watch it when it comes on streaming. It is one of those movies that I think is going to be a really feel-good film. Definitely like matinee-worthy. Watch it in the afternoon. Watch it with your kids. Watch it on your own. I think it's a film for the entire family or for just yourself because me as a 32-year-old you know, male, I thought it was just a really sweet film. And Judy Bloom, I think, uh, is a wonderful storyteller. So I think this is something that I'm going to recommend for everybody to check out. It's really, really cute, a really good movie. Again, they have some really poignant moments, some really comedic moments, but all around, I just think it's a good movie. It's a really good movie. So if you have watched it already, like I did, let me know what your thoughts were. And if you've read the book, let me know if it's something I should check out. I am curious because, again, I like the movie so much. Maybe I'll give the book, you know, a read at some point. So let me know your thoughts. If you plan on watching it, if you have seen it, if you've read the book, again, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you for listening to my thoughts.